If you find an article while doing your research that the library does not have, you will submit an interlibrary loan request for it. This tutorial will show you how to request those items. You will most often submit your requests directly through one of our databases. However, you might find an article cited in another source, such as another article or a book chapter, that complements your research. In these cases, you will fill out a blank request form. I will demonstrate both methods in this tutorial. When researching, it is important to double check the library catalog and our Journals by Title page just to make sure the library does not have access to your item, either in a physical format or online. While this seems like it takes extra time, making sure the library does not have what you need actually saves you time in the long run. Requesting items to which the library has access increases the time it takes for you to obtain what you need. First, it slows down the interlibrary loan process because we are using the time that would normally be used on processing actual interlibrary loan requests. Also, if the item is available via the library, you know and often have your item immediately. Placing requests through our databases is the most efficient way to submit requests. Most of the required information will automatically transfer into the form, which reduces the risk of errors. I will demonstrate using OneSearch, which is the default database on the library homepage. However, the process is similar in all of our databases. From the library homepage, select your database and perform your search. Items not readily available will show a request this item via interlibrary loan link. Click on the article title showing promise for your topic to display the detailed record. Review the abstract to evaluate its usefulness. Remember to double check the source title in both the library catalog and the journals by title page just to make sure that we do not have access. Once you have determined that the article will benefit your research and the library does not have access, click on the Request This Item via Interlibrary Loan link, log in using your six-digit ISU or Bangle ID number and your last name. The request form will appear with most of the fields and all of the required fields pre-populated. Double check to make sure the information transferred correctly and that nothing weird happened. Article title, article author, your source title, your volume number, your issue number, which will not always be available, a publication date, don't worry about the format, and finally, your page numbers. If we haven't been able to find your item by the date indicated in the Date No Longer Needed field, we are going to stop trying. The default is six weeks out, but you can edit this date if needed, making it longer or shorter. The average time to obtain articles is two weeks, but most items arrive much faster. However, obscure items can take longer. Please keep this in mind while you are doing your research and allow enough time for items to arrive. The language field is defaulted to no. A number of articles are published in another language and are not translated into English. If you speak the language indicated in the detailed record or know someone who would be willing to translate for you, change the language field to yes and in the additional information field indicate the language. We will cancel your request if we discover that an article is published in another language and this field is marked No. After you verify that all the information is correct to the best of your knowledge, click Submit Request. You are then taken to your Iliad Interlibrary Loan Account main menu where you can confirm that your request has been successfully submitted. 
I will now demonstrate requesting items through our blank request forms. As mentioned earlier, you will use these forms because you want to get something that was cited in another source. When using the blank forms, it is even more important to check the library catalog and the journals by title page just to make sure the library does not have access to your item. The easiest way to fill out the form is to have two windows open one with the item you want and the other with the request form so that you can copy and paste the information between the windows. Iliad Interlibrary Loan will kick you out if you are inactive for too long so make sure you have all the information close by. Once you have determined that the library does not have your item access the Interlibrary Loan request form by hovering over My Library Account on the library homepage and then selecting Interlibrary Loan Account. Log on using your six-digit ISU or Bengal ID number and last name. In the menu on the left, under New Request, select the request form that best fits your needs, in our case, Article. Fields with the red asterisk are required, but the more information you provide, the faster we can fill your request. Cut and paste or type the citation of the item you want into the request form. Article title, article author or authors, source title. This is the title of the journal or magazine that your article is published in. Volume number will be next. Issue number is not provided in our citation, but it is not required. The date of publication of the article we want. And then the page numbers that our article is found on. As with the mapped forms, date no longer needed is defaulted to six weeks out. Adjust this date as necessary. For articles not published in English, make sure to update your language preferences and indicate in the additional information field the language the article is published in. As a reminder, we will cancel your request if we discover the article is in another language and this field is marked no. It is helpful for us to know where you found your information. Enter the citation of your source in the Where Did You Learn About This Item section. This gives us more to work with in case we have problems locating your item. Once you have completed the form, click Submit Request. You are then taken to the Iliad Interlibrary Loan account main menu where you can confirm that your request was successfully submitted. If you have questions or need assistance, please contact us via any of these methods. Thank you for watching.